let's go to a compound interest um, question. So compound interest, it reads as follows. Pumi invests 20,000 worth of shares in a publishing house. If she earns 12% per annum compound interest, that per annum is coming back again to us because we know per annum is yearly. Um, what will the value of her investment be after five years? So we know that we've got our 20,000. There's our 20,000 over there. And we know that this person is going to earn 12% interest. So there's a little bit more work that we are going to be doing with compound interest. So I need you to be very attentive and to be very careful with your steps. Otherwise, you are going to be making a lot of mistakes. So in the first year, because we are calculating it for five years, we say 20,000, one, two, three times 12, all over 100. So this person is going to be making... 2,400 rand interest in the first year. Make sure that you know what you're talking about. So in the second year, in the second year, this is how we're going to do it. Please be very, very careful um, and attentive of what I'm about to do. You are going to add the 20,000 with the 2,400. So you're adding those two values, which are going to give you um, 22,400. The 22,400 is what's going to be your balance. Compound interest means you're gaining interest from the previous balance. So the previous balance is no longer the 20,000 that she invested. The previous balance now becomes um, the 22,400 rand, meaning that in the second year, she's going to add another 12%, but this 12% is not added onto the 20,000 like the simple interest. It's now added onto the 22,400 rand. 22,400 rand times 12% again. So 22,000 times 22,400 times 12%. Anything percentage um, is always going to be, anything percentage is always out of 100. Please remember that. Anytime you see the percentage sign, know that that number is over 100. So here it's giving us 2,600, sorry about that, and 80. Eight. So it means that now we are going to be getting a new interest. We take that. So this is the interest for the second year. We go and we add the 22,400 with the new interest that we've just calculated. Let's go and see what that is going to give us. Mm, 400 plus 2,688, which gives us 25,088. 25,088. The 25,088 then becomes our new balance. And I know this looks tedious. But you will get all your marks for it. Believe me, you will get all your marks for it. So we don't just take the formula and pluck in everything. We don't do that. We do it step for step for step. And I've heard some learners complaining about how much work it is. But it's worth the marks. It's worth the marks and the understanding behind the formula. Let's carry on. So now we're going to take the 25,000. And 88 and multiply it with the 12% again, which is going to give us 25,088 times our 12%, which then SD gives us 3,010 and 56. 3,010 and 56. 
So you can see that the interest keeps, keeps on increasing. So the interest keeps on increasing um, every single year. It's not the same interest like simple interest. With simple interest, we saw in question one that we were adding 80 rand, 80, 80, 80, 80 for 10 years. But with this particular one, the interest keeps on increasing, which then um, brings us to different types of graphs. If we were to draw a graph concerning this, and I'll show you a little bit of that um, carrying on. Let's go. So this one is for the third year. So we go and we say 25,088 plus the interest, which is 3,010 and 58. Let's go calculate that. Don't be scared to use your calculator, guys. Some people want to not use their calculator and then they end up losing this were actually correct. That's 28,098 and 58. So that's 28,098 and 98 and 58 cents. So that is now the new balance that we are going to be using and we're finding our 12% from. So we say 28,000 and 98 and 58 times our 12%, which would give us. Twenty eight thousand and ninety eight point fifty eight times our twelve percent, which gives us three thousand three hundred and seventy one and eighty three cents. Three thousand twenty one, three thousand three hundred and seventy one. Let's just look at that again and eighty three cents. So that is for our fourth year. That is the that this person is going to be gaining for the fourth year. Let's go and tell which is the last one because they wanted to know for five years. So it's going to be 28,098 and 58 plus 3,000. 371 and 83 which then is going to give us the new amount don't be scared it is a lot of work so that is then 28,098.58 which is 31,470 31, I think it's point 41, point 41. So this, which is going to be the law we are doing 12%. And you can see I'm getting uh, um, as I move along with that, which is 3,376, 3,376. Let's it becomes and 45 cents. We have our interest for the fifth year. The interest low and it went up, up, up. And we would call that exponential, an exponential increase. So for simple interest, this is what the graph would have looked like. So simple interest then the graph would have been a straight line graph. Why is it a straight line graph? Because it's increasing by the same amount every single time. So if ever you were asked to draw a simple interest graph, it would be a straight line graph. A compound interest graph would then compound would look like this and my drawing is not up to scale but you have an idea of what's going on so it would be more 
of an exponential type of graph. And it's an exponential because the amount is increasing exponentially. That's why even when you've taken out a loan or your parents have taken out a loan and they have to take back the money and the money was calculated via compound interest, the, the amount is like this big. I mean, it's because compound interest is exponential. That's something you can go um, and teach to your parents. 